In this video, we're gonna share with you five things you need to know before moving to Fort Wayne. We've been getting quite a few questions from people that are coming here for jobs with Parfum Medical, Sweetwater Sound, Vera Bradley Company, and Steel Dynamics. So there's definitely more than meets the eye when it comes to Indiana's second largest city. So make sure you stick with us, watch till the very end, so that way you can learn about five important things to know before moving here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Living in Fort Wayne. I'm Frankie Dials and I'm a realtor in the Fort Wayne metro area. As always, if you have any questions about anything that's being covered in the video today, feel free to leave a comment or give me a call. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. So we are going to jump right into these top five things before moving to Fort Wayne that you need to know. Number one is gonna be the weather. So before moving to Fort Wayne, it's a big thing, it's really important to people. So this is something everybody worries about and there's kind of some misinformation, misunderstanding about what it is that's actually true. So let's set it straight for you as people that actually live here. So what most people focus on is the winter. Fort Wayne is in Northern Indiana. So people definitely assume it's like the South Pole, like 10 months out of the year, it's just cold, which isn't entirely true. It does get cold here. Don't get me wrong, but if you look at the actual stats, you'll see that Fort Wayne is kind of in the middle of the charts when it comes to winters. So snowfall here is actually pretty mild. It's like similar to cities like Des Moines, Allentown, Providence. So plenty of cities see a lot more snow than Fort Wayne does. Obviously, Alaska is going to you know, take the gold medalist there, but also go to upstate New York or even some places in Northern California. And you'll actually see like 10 times more of the annual snow than you do here in Fort Wayne. The temperatures that happen in the winter time, they're going to hit about an average low somewhere right around zero. So obviously that is cold. It feels a lot colder when it's windy out, which is pretty often around here. But once again, definitely not the coldest, for sure, not the windiest place in the country. Nowhere in Indiana gets within the top 10. What Fort Wayne does actually get is a lot of rain. About 135 days out of the year, it is raining here. So other people also don't realize that there actually is a summer. We do have summer. It's not just snow and rain all the time. From June through August, it usually gets to be about 80 to 85 degrees and it's humid, so you're gonna see some humidity. Now the most humid city in the entire US is New Orleans with a level of about 75.9. The yearly average level in Fort Wayne is 71.8. So you're definitely gonna feel that degree change. All right, going into number two, it is super spread out here in Fort Wayne. Another thing you've gotta know before moving to Fort Wayne is how spread out it really is. It's big, wide, flat land and lots of it. The Fort Wayne metro area in all its flatness is so big you could actually fit the city of Los Angeles into it twice, almost three times. So speaking of big cities like LA, New York and so on, these are all places with like thousands of people per square mile. Not so much here in Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne metro area is about 308.5 people per square mile. So there are almost 100 other U.S. cities that are more densely populated than Fort Wayne. So if you're a city person looking at Fort Wayne, it's like six figure population and you're thinking you want to come here for that compact hustle and bustle, it, you're not going to find it. Um, you're going to need a car to live here and everything is flat, wide open and nice and spread out. Number three, homes are new and massive. I don't know if it's the name Fort Wayne or just the fact that it's so affordable to live here, but people don't expect to see super modern, high-end, brand new homes here. The whole city, you know, it's it's not just log cabins, people churning butter on the porch. I mean, you can see that, but it, that you can't, you know, you can find it. Um, but Fort Wayne is actually a hub for some cutting edge new homes. So talking luxury homes, Actually, there's a guy that recently made to some of the hot new hoods here in Fort Wayne. You can check that link out in the description below. So you'll probably be surprised by what's getting built here. Lots of custom homes and lots of brand new listings popping up all the time. So not only is Fort Wayne one of the most affordable cities in the US, but it's also loaded with really nice properties. Brand new. It's pretty great. So we're going to jump into number four. It's a very friendly place, one of the friendliest places. The locals call it Hoosier hospitality. It really applies to the whole state of Indiana. People are generally just super warm, friendly, good natured, good sense of humor. Now you're gonna meet not great people everywhere, but for some reason they are a little bit far harder to find around here. So if you're thinking about moving to a new city, it can always be scary. People are like 
hey, outsiders coming in here, trying to make themselves at home. It could just be scary, but Indiana, <clears throat> by and large, really isn't like that. People are friendly with each other here. And last but not least, tons of outdoors. Last thing you should know about Fort Wayne before moving here, despite what you might expect, there's tons of nature and outdoor stuff here. I get it, it's biggish city in a state. Everyone thinks it's only cornfields. But in Fort Wayne, you've actually got 80 parks, 120 miles of hiking trails. We've got Promenade Park. It's a huge outdoor centered area right on the riverfront. It's like an urban oasis. You can do kayak rentals, canal boats, it's got a bridge, it's got a pavilion, amphitheater, a trail called Treetop Canopy with incredible views restaurants, cafes, all kinds of stuff around there. There's also Lindenwood Nature Preserve, which is great for hiking and just like totally immersed in nature, but you're not far from the big city. So that is gonna round out our top five things you need to know before moving to Fort Wayne. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we want to bring you back. Thank you for watching till the very end. If you've got any questions, leave us a comment. Feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out, clear anything up. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe.